Hey, right now as this video went up, I am actually live on Twitch starting a brand new Nuzlocke challenge along with a charity fundraising stream to raise some money for Games for Love. If you could stop by, that would mean a lot. Click that top link in the description. This has got to be about the weirdest Wi-Fi battle that I've ever had, and if you continue to watch the video, you'll understand why. So, I played this match on a live stream against viewers, and of course I'm using my weirdest team yet, which is a team that revolves around everything doing the opposite of what it's supposed to. For example, of course, there's physical attacking Gengar, we have special Mamoswine, special for Alligator, physical attacking Roserade, special Agron, and a physical Nidoking. My main goal is just to see if I can catch people off guard and get this team to do some stuff because it's funny, but my opponent has some tricks up their sleeve as well, so let's get into the match here. I apologize for the little bit of the lack in quality, uh, zooming in on the exported stream didn't help me out, but uh, still a really fun battle nonetheless. Anyway, uh, they're going to go ahead and lead off with the Fortress. I decided to lead off with the boy stemming way just because I know I can uh, get this thing asleep and I don't have to worry about the hazard. So. That is exactly what I do. I hit him with the Bill Cosby, and a sleeping fortress is a safe fortress. I don't have to worry about any any of the shenanigans this Walnut wants to do, and this does potentially open me up to setting up some Swords Dance stuff, but Roserade, it's too early, and I don't really um, want to risk that, because I know this thing is going to be useful later. I decide to instead switch into Agron. Now, the reason for this is because ordinarily, Agron can't do shit against a fortress. However, I am in fact a special attacking Agron, and look at the, the move set that this thing is able to get is actually hilarious. I go right for the Fire Blast, and I do actually connect turn one, and that knocks this thing down uh, to its dirty, which is hilarious. So Fire Blast, Agron already paying off, and uh, this thing with its Life Orb has some pretty good coverage, and honestly can, can hit kind of hard, especially uh, if you can catch things, you know, not expecting attack. So. I am able to finish this thing off with the Flash Cannon. I didn't want to risk the Fire Blast miss uh, or a potential switch, but the absolute beast that is special attacking Agron logs is first kill, and you love to see it. Uh, shout out to the commenter who recommended that I use a special Agron. This one is for you, buddy. Uh, but anyway, he gets a free switch into whatever he likes, decides to go into the Dawn Fan, uh, but sitting at a nice 6-5 to five lead here, I'm comfortable, I'm going to save the Agron for later because of course I cannot touch this thing. And I decide to go into the Feraligator. So this is a choice specs Feraligator. Um, this thing is a little bit interesting and it's very not optimal, but <laughs> it's pretty funny. And it can potentially work. So he gets up the Stealth Rock, uh, which is annoying, but I decide to go right for the nice Scald here. Now... Uh, this thing is sheer force, so of course I'm not able to get the secondary effect, which is the burn from Scald, and about 95% of the reason why you would use Scald, but this Feraligator says, fuck it, my hot water does not burn, and uh, the switch into the Breloom ordinarily would be a pretty nice play, however, Specs is going to allow me to <laughs> two-hit KO this thing, and that is absolutely insane. So I just decide to stay in, the screen goes black because the stream actually cut out there, um, but I was able to take care of the Breloom. Breloom is dead, and I'm looking like I got a pretty nice lead here. Uh, so he decided to go into the Volbeat on the free switch after the Breloom goes down. Um, and there's only one thing this this little fella does, which is Tail Glow. And very scary Pokemon, I didn't really want to switch. I decided just to stay in and go for another Scald here, because I know it's a 2-hit KO. Um, so that's exactly what I do, I knock it down to below half. However, he goes for the Baton Pass. Now, Baton Pass is a move that carries over the stat changes, uh, so that thing's special attack and stuff is going to be moved right on over to whatever he decides to Baton Pass into, and it is going to be the Miss Maggie. So, comes in on a Scald, and uh, that does a whole lot of damage. You know, a burn would be great, but of course, Sheer Force isn't going to allow that to happen. Um, I cannot really switch out here for Alligator. did kind of what he needed to do. It would be great to keep it around for the stuff like the Donphan. Uh, but I do have the Roserade still. So I let the Miss Maggie take care of the Feraligator, and this allows me a switch into whatever I would like. So my only option here is really to go into Gengar, and that's mostly just because I'm the only thing that really outspeeds, plus I can knock this thing out with a Shadow Claw, and then bada bing bada boom physical attack and Gengar gets a kill, and that's what we want to see. So I go for the Shadow Claw here. My dude is too smart for that, he's not gonna let that happen. Miss Maggie is a very scary mon, and he's gonna tuck that in the old back pocket for later as he goes into young Picasso, who of course, you know, isn't affected by the Shadow Claw. As you'll see, this is actually a Moody Smeargle. Now that's an ability that's generally banned. Uh, however, we ain't playing by no rules today, as you'll see, but um, Moody is an ability that kind of just gives you random stat raises and, and drops. So it can make this thing very scary, unpredictable, 
and can result in a, a, an interesting time. So I have to switch out because Gengar is choice banded into the Shadow Claw. Uh, so I decided to go into Face Paint as I probably should have gone into Roserade. I should have known the Spore was coming. Uh, I mean, to be honest, I did know the Spore was coming. I was kind of just not paying enough attention. Um, so that puts Mammoth Swine asleep and you absolutely hate to see that. It was kind of a misplay on my end. I'm interacting with chat on the stream and kind of just dicking around. But now I'm like, all right, now we'll go into Roserade. There's, there's a foolproof plant. There's nothing this thing can do. I'm expecting potentially Sticky Web. Uh, when you see Smeargle, you're thinking probably like Spore, Sticky Web, stuff like that. But he actually ends up going for a mean look. And that is not something you often see in Wi-Fi battles. So kind of scratching my head a little bit, not really knowing what the hell, <laughs> what this motherfucker is about to paint. Because good God, I, I'm kind of afraid, especially because of all these drops in, in raises that I'm not paying too much attention to. Um, but as Stamming Way's in here, I know that I can just kind of safely either start getting some chip damage, potentially break a Focus Sash or whatever. Um, but he ends up going into the Volbeat. So I actually went for a Sword Stance, and I figured that Smeargle was a pretty decent Mon to set up against because it can't, uh, you know, put me to sleep or anything like that. So I get that free plus one, and honestly, physical attacking Roserade is kind of nice. With the Sleep Powder pairing with Swords Dance, you can actually, you can do a whole lot of shenanigans with this thing. Plus hit really hard with a dual stab. So, unfortunately Volbeat comes in, he's a prankster and he decides to go for the Encore. He says, hey, I like them swords, bust them bitches out again, and I'm forced to go for another Swords Dance, which of course uh, is not good. I really would have liked to Poison Jab that thing and kill it, but now I have to switch because uh, I'm freaking Encored. <laughs> And I'm gonna go right back into Gengar. Now the reason for this is because, you know, I can pretty much safely switch into this thing on whatever. As he actually ends up going for the Baton Pass, which works as a nice little pivot for him to be able to bring in a matchup that he likes a little better. Um, and he decides to go into the Smeargle. So, if there's one thing I know about this Smeargle, it's that I know he's probably not going to attack me here. And I can see, like, something like a mean look, or I honestly don't know. But I'm thinking this is this might be a good time to bust out the old Focus Punch Choice Banded Gengar. So I decided to go for the Focus Punch here. My boy is tightening his focus as he actually ends up going for the Spore. So Sleep Claws is just out the door as now two of my Pokemon are asleep, which generally in singles battles um, is you know frowned upon. But now it's determined. It's made me more determined to win, and has lit a fire beneath me and my Gengar. <laughs> so um, being put to sleep there really really sucks right in the middle of my my focus punch. Um, so just straight up interrupting my focus like an absolute madman and I now have to switch being choice banded into that, into that is not good. Um, so I decided to just go right back into Mamoswine. I'm, I'm thinking, I don't know, Mamoswine can like maybe wake up or I don't, I do not know what this miracle is going to do to me. Um, <laughs> but regardless, he actually ends up going for uh, the mean look again. So this thing's getting its special defense raised, his attack is dropped, and there's so much shit going on where I cannot now switch out. So I decided to just go for, what did I click, Stealth Rock there? Uh, just to let limit like Volbeat switches and Miss Maggie doesn't like that. Um, but now you'll see he goes for an Imprison. So that seals any moves that it shares with the target. Meaning, uh, if we have any moves in common, I can now not use them. And I'm starting to figure out what the hell this Smeargle is about to do to me. Um, but it's it's honestly too late. I've, I've fallen deep into the trap as now he goes for the Transform. My dude wants to be Ditto so badly, he now transforms into me, and the Smeargle gimmick has been successfully pulled off. I'm now asleep, he transforms into me with an Imprison, meaning we have all the same exact moves, and now that it doesn't allow me to use any of my moves, I have to struggle, as he is basically now just a better version of me, and <laughs> he just goes for uh, the Freeze Dry. Now, unfortunately for him, I am a special attacking Mammoth Swine, so you know, he can't really do a whole lot. Probably would have preferred if I was, you know, like a good Mammoth Swine, but uh, either way, this dude just absolutely owned me, and now Face Paint basically pays the consequences. Now he actually gets the Ancient Power stat boost, which is absolutely insane, the Omni Boost, and uh, this Smeargle <laughs> is just straight up smacking me around. No moves left, so I go for another struggle. Now luckily, I'm able to end my own suffering. That takes care of myself, and uh, I can now switch. Don't have to worry about the damn mean look. And uh, at least I do know, the one benefit from this is that I know exactly what this Mammoth Swine is because it's mine. Uh, so I can just go right into Optimus. Uh, I know that this thing can take any attack that this wants to throw at me. And then I can just finish it off with a Flash Cannon, which feels good to get another Aggron kill. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And he then goes for the Ice Beam. You know, it doesn't do a whole lot because I'm fucking Optimus Prime rollout, bitch, as I go for the... Uh, 
that their flash cannon takes care of it. So the Smeargle did do what it was supposed to do, and 10 out of 10 did not expect, and that was pretty cool. But the game is not over, there's a lot of work to do, and we're ready for it. So in comes the Miss Maggie on the free switch in. Uh, I don't really have much that wants to switch into this. I know that I can counter it with my own Gengar, who is actually asleep, so that kind of ruins my plan. Um, but this thing goes for the Shadow Ball here. I'm thinking maybe I live something, but Agron's just too whittled down, um, and that does take care of me. So. This Miss Maggie is probably about the scariest thing I have to deal with, although I do have the Nido King, who can pretty much guarantee take anything barring a crit. Um, so in comes the Kingpin. Now, physical attacking Nido King is, you know, kind of a strategy. It's just not as common as, you know, the, the special set, just because of move pool restrictions and things like that. Um, but he goes for the Shadow Ball there, throws the ball on the face. I'm able to live that nicely, and then a Poison Jab. Uh, does take care of this thing. So I am Life Orb Sheer Force. So luckily the Miss Maggie goes down and uh, good to see that thing gone because the Gengar was my plan and it didn't, that was not gonna work out. So now they've got two Pokemon left. It's gonna be Donphan and the Volbeat. So Donphan comes in first. I'm able to get a nice Earthquake off on this thing before uh, Nido King goes down. That's important because I needed to whittle this thing down uh, and I'm actually able to do a good chunk of damage there as this thing then fires off its own earthquake and this battlefield is all sorts of fucked up. Imagine an earthquake and this nice shiny floor, it's, it's all ruined. The janitor's gonna have quite the time with that, but you know, it's not our problem. Uh, anyway, the Don Fan is sitting at around half health as luckily I've been able to conserve my Roserade pretty much specifically to take care of this um, and I'm down to, so we're both actually down to two mods. I got the Roserade and the Gengar and I decided to go into, of course, the boy stemming way. Um, but at this range, I should be able to knock this thing out with a Seed Bomb, so that is exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, Donphan does indeed reveal it does have Ice Shard, kind of expected potentially for him to go that against Nido King. Um, but I am able to take at least one of those, and then the Bomb of Seeds is going to knock out the Donald Fan. So, uh, down goes Donphan, and the battle actually is coming right down to the timer. So this is an absolute nail-biter, and nobody knows what the hell's going on. Just an overall confusing match, <laughs> and his last Mon is going to be this Volbeat. So it all comes down to the point where if I can knock this thing out with Roserade, that's ideal. Might have to use Sleep and Gengar. Let's see how it goes. I go for the Poison Jab here, give him a little Razzle Dazzle with a twist, and I knock it down to red, but also get the Poison, which is amazing. And luckily for me as well, this Volbeat is more of a setup mod than it is an attacker. Um, so the Lunge is its only attacking move, I assume, and it actually knocks me down to red. I live it with 6 HP because Stemming Way is the GOAT and the poison does take care of the Volbeat here on the very last turn. So that is going to be the end of the match there. I don't know what the hell happened here. It was, an, it was quite the interesting game. Uh, but my team did what it needed to do, and uh, you gotta love to see it. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.